99 chromium transistors on the wall. 99 chromium transistors. Take them all down, pass them around. Now where are you going to find any more chromium transistors? Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. We're going to talk about bottlenecks today with gear and uh, uh, relic materials and, and I guess like Omicrons as well and just, just kind of identify some of the strategies of where we can buy these things, where we can get them for the best deals. It's not going to be a comprehensive list. I'm not going to be showing a ton of math, but they are going to have some good ideas. I have a trick uh, that I don't think I've shared with you guys before and it's like something I knew and then I forgot about and then someone reminded me about it recently and I was like, oh yeah, let's 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 share that. That's a pretty cool thing. So uh, let's let's jump into a black screen and then immediately thereafter say thank you to my patrons. You guys are amazing, and I couldn't do what I do without you guys. You guys' support is it means the world to me. It truly does. Thank you guys so much. If you want to support the channel for free, folks, if please help me mount the algorithm, like, subscribe, and comment. Help this channel get out there and reach all of the people in the Galaxy of Heroes YouTube world that um, haven't heard the good news yet, guys. Have you heard the good news of Zareth? It's not that good. It's actually it's decent. Like it's it's okay. The 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 algorithm, however knows all it knows some actually it doesn't know everything so let's uh let's jump into this actual okay let's talk about chirotech first and i don't have every single source of chirotech here guys because there are a lot of chirotechs i do want to point out that with the new raid economy uh you're going to see chirotech here and eventually we may get to a point it'll be a long ways down the road for for most of us but it might get to the point where you like you're like oh yeah i can trade it in for chirotech this is not where you spend your mark ii currency guys uh, from the raid not worth it not worth it at all you're gonna spend it on the all the gear 12 stuff wonderful the chirotech is there to just drain your resources really not worth it guys like uh, yeah, it's it's. I think you can you could actually spend an entire week's worth of Mark II currency and not even get one side of of a Kyrotech piece. Like it's it's pretty bad, pretty bad deal. I mean, maybe someday we'll be throwing our stuff at it, our gear at it, <laughs> our stuff like our TVs and such. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but it's not. It's not a good deal. GT2, wonderful deal. In fact, I think that now that we can pick our own stuff in the the new raid currency, that's what we're going to be using raid currency uh, on, like the raid currency too. And we're going to be moving almost exclusively, I mean, I've done this for the most part anyways, to buying Kyrotech with GT2. And you can buy other stuff with it, obviously, and you'd want to buy all, like, all the different characters and farm all those things and stuff as well um, but once you're just once you've bought all the characters farmed everything uh, you know the ships then I think Kyrotech is probably going to be the place you get or you spend all that GT2 and then GT3 I, I think we're probably gonna it's kind of a split I mean there's a lot of really cool stuff with GT3 that you can get none of its particularly amazing but none of its particularly or egregiously awful it's not necessarily a bad deal to buy anything with GT3 it's, it's just kind of like the it's really bland it's like yeah it's not bad it's like some girls like hey what about your friend Dan like he's pretty cool right and you're like mm, I, sure yeah I guess man I guess you, if you wanted to whatever uh, the, and then one thing I'll point out to you guys, both of the nodes that you can farm, dark side and light side, for the for the Kyrotech is solid value, especially the light side one, the 7B, uh, because you're getting a lot of bronzium wiring materials as well. So Omicrons, this is something that, ah, man, I'm going to be a shill for just a minute, guys. I think you guys are going to hate me. Uh, but here's the thing. 
Uh, so GT3, not a great value, probably. I mean, uh, again, it, it's hard to it's hard to put a value on Omicrons, right? Like they've restricted Omicrons so much that you can't really say like, oh, that's not that's definitively not worthwhile. But you're not you're gonna like if you farm it this way, you can't buy more than one per. Uh, you know, every two weeks, and so you end up getting, like, an extra Omicron after, or an extra two Omicrons, I forget, like, I think it's just a little over one every year, and it's, like, it's just not worth it. I mean, CG's like, hey, we're gonna make Omicrons more available, and, uh, like, they've made, they've made Omicrons so valuable that we, the demand is so high that they, they just want to sell them for money, and I, I get it, I suppose, but... They're not making it that much more available. This is like the only attempt that they've done at that. The the one thing I'm gonna shill you, shill, shill you. Gosh, <laughs> you shall not pass. No, um, I wanna show you guys the conquest pass though, because th this is the best money you can spend in the game. And I'm not telling you, you guys all need to do it. I'm, I promise you, this is something though, I think that you, you just fail, a lot of people fail to understand just how impactful this is, especially in spending time and effort and energy and really like breaking those bottlenecks. It really truly addresses it. So let's go to the game real quick and I will show you exactly. You can have, you'll, you'll have a tangible eg example. So let, let's do that just real. Whoa, whoa, madness. We're in the conquest and that sucks. It's boring as hell. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, all right, uh, you buy the conquest pass, and this isn't the thirty dollar one. This is the ten dollar one, and the very first box you get here, guys, is you get you get ten of these. That this is the revamp, like the re renewed thing that they're giving you. If you click on it, look what you get, though, guys. I mean, okay, so immediately, I, I don't need the trench ones. This is on my alt, actually. Um, uh, but. You know, you get all this currency, you get all this this core gear, but then you get two Omicrons. It used to be at the very end of the the road. You had to get red red crate to get this. I, I think I'm trying to remember now. I mean, you still need to get red crate to get all the Omicrons from Conquest, but this is one that you can get. Like so, there we go. That it's a ten dollar thing, and then remember, you're gonna get for that ten dollars, you also get like a full data cron from start to finish. I don't know if you get all of the credits for it, pretty close or, or whatever they're called, data cash. Uh, but you get all the materials for a full level nine data cron, which is pretty nice. Um, and then you also get enough uh, of these um, shards here guys that you only have to if you get red crate which i know not everyone's getting it but if you do get red crate then you don't have to spend currency to buy shards of this character of the new character so the fury interceptor I, i'll actually just have a bunch of this these burritos people call them even if you zoomed in they don't look like burritos at all <laughs> i don't know what they look like but certainly not burritos um if you do get these though uh, like, you're getting a bunch of them, and if you're getting Red Crate, you can spend them on something a lot cooler, guys. Uh, and I'll show you guys in just a moment. So, let's get back to the awesome slideshow, shall we? Whoa, we're not... it's not exciting. Alright. So, guys, uh, otherwise, Omicrons, just get them from Galactic Challenges. And you, you get an allowance of one every month, basically, like, to, to put on a character of your choice choose wisely uh you know or you can you know the conquest pass isn't gonna like move the needle too much but it is a nice way to just get a little bit more get a little something 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 all right signal data that this is probably the biggest bottleneck in the whole game honestly uh it's it is crazy so first off i'm gonna advise if you can afford it if you have enough crystals coming your way do three refreshes in Cantina every single day. That, you know, if you're farming a character, do three. Do, or if you're not, get signal data. That That's almost just a mandatory farm. Like, CG has made it so incredibly important. And this is, this and Omicrons are the two things that CG has not actually uh, addressed with the new raids, with the, with the, 
with the raid currency, you don't, you can't get signal data from the raids. That that's not that's one thing you can't get. Ah, same same with Omicrons. You can get Zetas, which are horrible value, but you could if you wanted to, I suppose. Uh, you know, if you needed one Zeta, you could just go in and grab it. Um, at, the other things though okay so this is the other place that uh, I'm like all right this if you're gonna spend crystals and this is an actual money like my my alt actually buys these kinds of things pretty often if you get daily deals if my alt doesn't get daily deals but this is not a bad deal at 1600 crystals for this just because it, the exchange rate is, is not bad compared to what you spend for crystal on uh, you know on the signal data anyways um and really the only signal data i would advise spending crystals on is the flawed one the one that you actually if once you get to relic nine if you get a character to relic nine you actually need more of those than you need of the other two colors which is ludicrous and stupid but it's true uh, otherwise you can get them so you can you can spend crystals on them in the weekly shipments and it's not bad guy i mean i've done it a few times on my alt because that many crystals that that's accessible to some people at least if you're in kyber and you're winning a few gacs you can you can get this sometimes uh and and really the the idea is it's going to save you time because is it more crystals efficient to just spend or to buy them through cantina like farm them in cantina yes absolutely but you need approximately 10 billion of them if you want to get a character to relic seven or eight or nine and you ain't nobody got time for that so this is will help you cut those those corners just a little bit if you need to and then the other thing that i really like guys is if you get far enough in conquest you can buy them for you can use your burritos the the things that don't look like burritos you can buy them with those and uh, I would actually, I, I buy the green ones and the the other blue ones. Why couldn't they make them more, like, why couldn't we have, like, a red one? Then we could just call them by their colors. But there's, like, a gray one, and then, like, another gray one, and then a, a green one. It's stupid. It's very dumb. But Conquest Currency, guys. This is, this is another reason why you kind of want to do that Conquest Pass. Well, maybe you want to, but then you have more burritos to buy signal data, uh, which is addresses another element on this list. Now, Bronzium Wiring, guys, it's not... No one loves Bronzium Wiring. Uh, some people, you, you guys are going to be like, oh man, that's the one I have a million of. And I'll be like, you know what? You've got a weird account. You're a strange person. But for the most part, like Bronzium Wiring is so rough to get your hands on, guys. It, it is very tricky. Uh, the new raid currency, do not spend it on Bronzium Wiring. Horrible just the worst price ever like most insulting thing ever i'm like why did they bother to put this in unless they're hoping for people to accidentally click and buy it by accident because that's the only time anyone should ever be purchasing this is by accident just the very worst value you could possibly have it's like you could buy two of them for for like a, a crazy price and you realize you need 40 of those per relic level it, it is nuts how bad that is like it is horrifically bad now light side node 7b is very good value because you're getting those chirotex and you're getting those uh, all, all these other materials help you get bronzium wiring this is this is the best one uh, one of the best nodes in the game just because that bronzium wiring is so tough to get your hands on so 7b folks this one is one once you've farmed all the characters start farming this one there's another there's another like 9f or something like that that you're gonna want to farm sometimes too though but i guess we don't need that one as much now the with the with the changes with the currency and the, the raids um all right so chromium transistors this is one i, I showed you guys a while ago um if you want to the, the this is one place that you do want to use guild tokens if you still have i mean you're still getting some of them passively you're not getting that many but you can uh, they, they turn if you buy these every time you go to the store and you pay attention you go to the store three or four times a day in, in the guild store or i guess it's the guild activity store you can see it's it's two slots to the left of young han solo that that's the only slot that it's in and it's not there every time it's not even there every day but it is 
a very solid value. And as you can see, if you get 100 of them, which I mean takes a while to get, but you have 333, like you never have to worry about chromium transistors again if you keep buying these consistently, guys. It's, it's a very good deal. Electrium's a little tougher to get your hands on, so uh, you you know you can spend crystals and all that if you want to. Um, the there's also there's a like a deal that comes out around every month or two where you can buy it, spend 500 and it's like a gamble pack, but you get like five it's between five and 20 I think Electrium, and it's a better deal than spending crystals on it. But uh, one way or another, you can buy it with raid currency, like the new currency, the the like Mark III stuff, and it's good value. Um, the the conquest currency, if you want to do that as well, because you're not spending them on shards of characters, you can you can get them there. Um, it's not bad, and then. The daily deals does does have them, and it's it's not a bad deal, at least compared to all the other crystals that you want that you could spend. Um, but then the last thing, guys, and I'll, I'll show you this wristband trick real quick, and then I'll get you out of here. Um, it it's it's something that's gonna have limited time value because now now that we can just buy our pieces, it, it's not as not as big of a deal. So let's um. You know, like we're not gonna have this weird lopsidedness of gear, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So let's uh, let's get back to the game. Whoa, we're in the place that we used to be. That, that is crazy, super crazy. Okay, so, no, we're not going to events. I apologize, folks, for wasting your precious time. But I'm wasting my own time too, so we're all in this together, okay? All right, so we're gonna go to Electrium. There we go. Now, if you wanted to get, if you wanted to trade 30 of these guys, you, you get six, all right? You get six of these Electrium, uh, which, which is fine. I mean, that's the deal that we've forgotten this whole time. However, one thing that you could do is you can buy, or this isn't, this isn't where I parked my car. If you go to right here, guys, you go to the wristband here, and if you craft one, so, you know, it costs 30 to craft it, of course, as as you may well know, <laughs> as you may well see. Uh, it costs 30 to craft it. And then you have this other piece, the, the Carbandi sensor ray, that you never use except when you're, uh, like, build, building a full a full one of these. Um, so these these pieces just stack up. My main account has like 800 of these, uh, and you can never use them. You can't trade them in for relic materials. You can't you can't use them for anything, guys. It, it's just the the wristband it, is all all you can do if you make a fully crafted one. And so what you can do here, guys, is if, if you craft it, then. All right. So uh, once once you do craft it, we just did. Um. You can get 13 instead with this, um, which means you're using part of your currency that you normally, like the relic that you normally like just couldn't use at all. This this weird material that's just out there uh, doing nothing uh, at all for you unless you need to apply wristbands specifically, uh, but, but you're slowly getting outstripped. Like that, that's why the new raid currency is going to stop this from being valuable because now you can just choose not to purchase that ever if you don't need it. Uh, but otherwise, like this, this actually has some value. You can use this, the, whatever your remaining, your excess stack is into, you could actually turn that into more wristbands for this. Like, and the price is essentially the same thing, guys. Instead of, instead of spending 30 to just get six of them, you can spend 30 of these and get 13 instead. So uh, it's a it's a good it's a good deal until your stockpile runs out and then it's going to be irrelevant. But one way or another, which things did I miss? What which uh, good awesome deals did I miss on bottlenecks? I'm sure that I missed something. You guys want to talk about it? So be respectful. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things, Zareth prevails. Take care, guys.